Welcome back to Nat 20 and this episode of Drunkards and Dragons, Eldric Manor. In our last episode, our party explored Eldric Manor and met with Philippe, uh, the eldest son of the Eldric family, who was turned into a vampire. <clears throat> uh, Philippe, after filling them in on what little he actually knew, uh, sitting them down with dinner, they messed with Reginald a little bit, the butler, <laughs> and... Uh, then Philippe took them into the ballroom where his sister was held suspended in the air with chains inside of a magic circle where they could not reach her. Screaming her lungs out in desperation and fear. And the party has to figure out what they're going to do from here. Show us your tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we I don't know if I say that. <laughs> you were going to de- <laughs> were gonna try and dimension door there, right? I yeah. want to attempt to scale the wall to unhook chains from the wall. Okay. Should I, should I roll for... Uh, As he's that's... trying to scale the wall, I'm going to put my mace next to it and push button number uh, <laughs> you four <laughs> and make a climbing pole. All right. And I'll just climb up that pole. Okay. Are we on opposite sides of the room on each chain? Sure. Yeah. All right. That'll work. I'll uh, just make, a, make an athletics check. Do have disadvantage because that is a the... sheer wall. So roll twice and take the lower number. So that 20, Duncan. How yeah. tall are these chains? They're about 18 feet off the ground. Because okay. my climbing pole is Okay, 15. 17 so and 15, <laughs> that'll be 32. <laughs> Wait, you have 15 at athletics too? Oh, no, I've got plus one athletics. Oh, okay. Fuck. Fuck, man. I was like, 18 and athletics. I was like, what? So you get, somehow, you do manage to get about 10 feet up the wall. Finding the smallest handholds in the brick and mortar, um, but after a certain point, you just can't climb any farther, and you have to fall back down. Shit. Luth, you do get all fifteen feet up your climbing rod, and you can stretch and reach the chain if you so wish. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna hang off the chain, mm-hmm. uh, grab my climbing rod, transfer it back into a mace, and try knocking this chain out of the wall. Okay. Can he um, flip me up athletically, or um, yeah, like an yeah. acrobat you instead get, of athletically? You get someone to help you. Yeah, you're gonna need to the room though. <clears throat> uh, Zach, make a. I'm gonna assume you can hit. Just roll damage for me, please. What Maybe it's a magical chain. Just my mains. You can't. You have your climbing rope. Right? You your I said rope. I grabbed it yeah. as I'm hanging mm-hmm. on to the chain. Oh, you're hanging on to the chain. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, What's sorry. your strength? Eighteen. Okay, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nine. You manage to hit the chain, and where the chain connects to the wall, you make a little dent in the wall, but there is no visible damage to the chain. Okay. <coughs> I'll hit it one more time. If it doesn't do anything, which I'm assuming it doesn't. I'll attack the actual wall where the chain is. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead, roll for damage. Ten. Okay. With this hit, you actually take a sizable chunk out of the wall. Nice. Um, the chain itself, again, is not even a little scratched. But um, if you keep digging away, you might be able to make the chain come loose. I'll keep doing that. Can I do a arcana check to see if I can like do a spell within the sphere of magic? Yes, but it's gonna be pretty difficult. <laughs> May I aid him? I know much How about arcana. How would you aid him? I I don't know. Can I also make an arcana check? <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, twenty-seven. <laughs> Gauge or. Rowan. Rowan? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're not 100% sure if your magic would have an effect inside. You think that you could possibly cast a spell, but you don't know if there would be any inadvertent side effects. Um, she explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Soro, you, you know that if you were to try to cast a spell within the magical circle, A, Depending on the type of spell, it would probably hit Eliora because it's not that large of a space. B, you don't think you could actually affect the magic circle from inside of it. 
and see. I don't think you have any spells that would actually do anything. I'm going to cast polymorph, uh, polymorph on the girl. <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> oh God. I uh, I hide behind a pillar. Kiss it bounces <laughs> off the force field and hits one of us. I'm not gonna roll perception, but I stand away. I stand around aimlessly. Okay. Where are you, what are you turning her into? Duly noted. I'll turn her into a squid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn it here into a like just a dog. Yeah, yeah. turn her into a dog. Okay. Yeah. How what far up from the floor is she? <laughs> She's about. Ten feet off. Like a small dog, so that the chains like wouldn't be as yeah. like tight under. Okay. Or, gotcha. Yeah. You got to make sure that when you turn them into a dog, they don't die from the fall. A cat. How Cats high is on how high it, is ten, she, like, yeah, ten, ten feet? feet. Ten feet. Yeah. A cat yeah, would be better. She'll be fine. <laughs> Even if she's polymorphed and she falls and her dog form dies, she just transforms back into her human form. Yeah. And she's fine. So, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Fucking polymorph man. It's a great. I have um, and I yell, I'm polymorphing you. Be okay with this. <laughs> Affirmative consent every step she of the way. She does not respond. It's as if she didn't even hear you. Um, Silence is not consent! <laughs> Silence is not consent! You get the impression that either she physically cannot hear you, or she's in such a mental state, she's so distressed that she just can't take in okay. her surroundings. So does that mean green light? <laughs> Distress you say di- distressed state is not consent. <laughs> distressed state is not consent. Okay, so you cast a spell? Yeah. Nothing happens. She does not fall anymore. Oh. Nice. Good shit. Fuck. <laughs> that was a great spell slot on. Sorry. But I'm not sorry. Ultimate play. Doctor, do you have no ideas? Good, though. Now we know that the, yeah, um, this is um, pointless. Unless we can break the wall from around the chain. How's that going? Mm-hmm. Okay, who here is proficient in Arcana or History or Insight? Or Investigation? Anymore? Arcana and Investigation. Okay. None of those. <laughs> <clears throat> you guys perform an Arcana or Investigation check for me, please. Uh, 24. Natural 20. So, uh, 30. But natural 20. <clears throat> 20. Name drop. <laughs> <laughs> Sora. <laughs> you I look- got you, Gage. <laughs> You look at the ruins on the floor surrounding Eliora, mm-hmm. and notice that they're in the shape of a laurel wreath. Like, like the wolves. Like the wolves. <laughs> I'm sad. You didn't roll high enough. You don't know what's going on. I know. You would also have figured this out. Just, nice. I just said him because you got a net. I can't get anything. That's. <laughs> Are you still attempting to break the wall? Oh yeah. So, if I actually manage to get it loose at the point where it's kind of getting loose, I'm going to put my mace away. Grab the chain and also grab onto the wall so I can pull out the chain, but okay. not let it drop. Okay. For the sake of brevity, um, I'm going to say that you are actually able to loosen the chain. You're going to be able to break the wall enough to get the chain out of the wall. Okay. Um, and doing so, you, you put your rod out so it's a climbing rod, and you're standing there? Or what? You just hang uh, on said he was hanging onto the chain, hitting with the rod. I was going to try and hang onto the chain yep. and hang onto the wall. Okay. Like the, there would be a bit of a handhold from where you're hitting it. Yeah. Um, and I would say that since you can still hold on to the chain, you can brace yourself against the wall to try and pull the chain. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, make a strength check for me. Matt twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your campaign. <laughs> no. Slot <man. laughs> knife through butter. You pull this chain completely out of the marble wall. Or the wall, um, and unfortunately, you can't quite hang on to the walls. But the chain does come loose. Don't and, say that, Justin. <laughs> Don't say that. Um, it falls to the floor, taking you with it. Um, Was it eighteen feet? Nice. You take three points of fall damage. Oh. Man, <clears throat> <laughs> you guys are getting hurt. Um, Eliora is dragged. <laughs> That's what I didn't want to have it. <laughs> Towards the chain that is still suspended in the other wall and kind of bounces off the side of her magical enclosure. Doesn't appear to take any damage, but does begin to scream again. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck well, have you done? As soon as I hit the ground, I'm going to grab the chain and try to like lever up, uh, level her out. 
Through a feat of acrobatics, can I scale the other chain? You can cl- And then try and unhook that chain from that wall? You can try. Do you have 18 strength? <laughs> or maybe there's another way of going about it. <laughs> you have to bleed Levers, the man. You have Levers. To Alright, what do you want to do? Uh, um, Zach, or Luth, sorry. What are you trying to do? So, like, as I hit the ground, she hit the other side of the dome, right? Yeah. So, is she kind of just, like, scraping against the dome? Yeah. yeah. It, it looks really bizarre. So, what I'm doing she's is... She's just, like, <laughs> against an invisible wall, so she's smashed up against... So, what I'm doing is I'm pulling on this side of the chain to try and kind of level her out so okay. she's not okay. as... You broke Uncomfortable? the chain so she wouldn't yeah. be suspended, and now you're trying to suspend her <laughs> well, to prevent her from getting hurt. This is adorable. I love this guy. <laughs> Keep going. This old man is pulling on this chain. <laughs> no, he's not an old man anymore. Yeah, he's a guy. He's back. He's yeah. 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 I transform he's back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'd say you can do that with no problem. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, you want to scale the chain? Obasan, you're so strong. <laughs> yeah. Because Luth broke the other side of the chain, she's a little lower to the ground than she was before, so you were actually able to jump and grab the chain with relative ease. I'm not going to make you roll for it because it's only about eight feet off the ground now, and you have stupid decks. Um, so just make, make an athletics check to crawl along the chain. It's about 17. 20 feet long. 17, okay. Oh, 18, with the plus one. Yeah. So you can make it to the other side, no problem. Yep. Um, once I get to where the chain is in the wall, I use my <laughs> thieves tools. Card <laughs> <laughs> <Carpet> stone. <laughs> this has never been done. <laughs> I take the bigger lock pick out of my thieves tools, which is stronger. Okay. Um. And most hardness scale, it is above diamond. Okay, <laughs> so it won't bend. Uh-huh. Wait, what is... <laughs> My thieves' tools. Why are your thieves' tools diamond? But stronger than diamond. Why are they stronger than diamond? <laughs> so they don't break. Did you just decide that? <laughs> that's not canon. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's a cool item, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> I use my thieves to an attempt to pry the chain from the marble. Okay. Go ahead and make a check with your thieves duel, please. Those of you don't need any proficiency on this. And your decks. And your decks. Um, should be that's 10. 22. Okay. Your lockpick bends in half. Okay. It is not strong enough to pry the chain. Not <laughs> I tried. I tried. Can I use animate objects and use it to like get the three locks or three chains to like unhook? There's only two chains. Two chains, then the two. Yeah, uh, the one's, um, one's already been unhooked, but you can try. I, I also cast the mage hand and I have the hand start pulling on the chain to pull okay. it out of the wall. It's a strength of the mage hand. It's so like 10 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, it's not strong, but anything will help. It's not a right. group effort at this right. point, right? Uh, I locked my lockpick. What does anyone else do? Yeah, do you read it or should I just read it? Okay. Just read it out. Okay. Objects come to life under your command. Choose up to 10 non magical objects within range that are not being worn or carried. Medium targets count as 2 objects. Large targets count as 4 objects. Huge tra- targets count as eight objects. You can't animate any object lar- larger than huge. Each target animates and becomes a creature under your control until the spell ends or until it reaches to zero hit points. As a bonus action, you can met- mentally command any creature you made with this spell if the creature is within 500 feet of you. Uh, you decide what action the creature will take and where it will move during its next turn. Or you can issue a general command such as guard a pic- particular chamber or corridor. If you issue no commands, the creature only defends itself against hostile creatures. Once given an order, the creature continues to follow it until its task is complete. And my, my main hand, by the way, uh, it and can't attack, act, activate magic items, or carry more than 10 pounds. I'm not trying to carry, I'm just trying to... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say, Gage, um, 
that you'd be able to gather from Luth pounding on this chain and it not taking any damage at all, that it is magically reinforced and perhaps perhaps even magical itself. So animate object probably wouldn't have any effect. So would I assume that I wouldn't want to cast the spell? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I, I would say that you can gather that it probably yeah. wouldn't have any okay. effect before you actually okay, cast it. Thanks. <coughs> okay, what do you guys want to do? I'm trying to try and get the chain out of the wall, or yeah, I'm just hey, trying to like pull, 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 pull. pull and pull, you, pull. what you did, this is a run thick, run heavy chain, one? and it is solidly planted in the wall. There, <laughs> can someone relieve this chain of me? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll take the hold chain. It up. Okay, yeah. it's it's a lot of weight. Mage um, hand can only take like ten pounds. Yeah, mage hand. Oh, I guess it is a girl. Can lift about half of the chain, maybe. All right. Anyway, can I assist with his mage hand? Yes, you can pull on it. Just make a strength check for me. I love making you guys do checks. I like checking you out. Um, ten. Ten. That's fine. You're you're able to hold up the chain and pull the girl in roughly the same position that we've had it in. Cool. And then I'll pretty much do the exact same thing I did on the. Okay. I bring my mage hand over and say, it's okay, you did your best, and I just spell it. I shed a single tear. That's it's tragic. It's comforting. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of brevity, because you've already done this once, I'm going to say you can just do it again. So you go through the whole process again, you can pull the chain out of the wall. Cool. Um, and with that, you again fall. <laughs> Unless you like to do it differently, you take three points of fall damage. <laughs> But um, with the fall of the chain, Eliora is no longer suspended in the air. She is now lying in a crumpled heap on the ground. The She's... chains are still attached to her wrists, but they're no longer attached to the wall. Does she still have a force bubble around her? She absolutely does. Okay. I will cast a mention door okay. to get towards her. Okay. I are thought you... we already said we couldn't do this. Are you taking... No, we didn't try it. No. Oh, we didn't? Oh. Are you taking anybody with you? Uh, so no one wanted to come with me. Uh, sure, I will go through this uh, magical door. Okay. <clears throat> so I cast a mention door for, uh, for, uh, what's your name? Your Sorrow. name is Sorrow and I. Sorrow. Alright, just let me read for a second. Can you call you Waros? What? Can I call you Waros? No. Walrus? <laughs> okay. <laughs> No. So, <laughs> Rowan, you cast Dimension Door with Sorrow. Sorrow. Yeah. Sorrow. 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 <laughs> the spell is unsuccessful, and you both take 14 Oof. points of force damage. So, like, what exactly happens then? Alright, you guys attempt travel through the Dimension Door, and it's as if the space you're trying to occupy is already occupied by something. So the spell just well, doesn't work. If that happens, we just we still end up in that space though. It ejects you right outside of the rooms. Okay. Fuck <laughs> Is this force field concrete so that we can lift up the force field with her in it and like roll her out? I'm gonna say let's put a pin in this. Uh, <laughs> explore the parents' bedroom and uh, come back with more clues. Is there anything this... else in this room? No, it's pretty empty. It's meant for like big parties and events. There's not really anything in the way of furniture or anything in here. Okay. We've exhausted all options at this point. I believe our best course of action yeah. would be to pursue other. Philippe, who has just been watching this the entire time. <laughs> Um, Thank you for the help, by the way, Philippe. <laughs> you know, a vampire strength would have been quite handy. Yanking yeah, chains out of the wall. It's a vampire. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's a <weekend>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, so what do you guys want to do? You guys, at this point, don't really uh, understand any way of freeing Eliora. Well, I'm out of ideas. If any of you could suggest okay. something, I might I, um, help out. Either we make our way up to uh, Philippe's parents' bedroom and explore any possible leads on the disappearance of the parents, or we make our way to the doors that uh, we could not uh, get through before. Yes, we should do one of those. Or both. Yes, exactly. A young Can lad. Go through the doors? What's in the cellar? The urinate doors? Yeah. The cellar. 
just food as far as I know. What is beyond the two doors? Upstairs? The intricate doors in the main level. That's where uh, we went there. Right. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, the only rooms you guys haven't been in, I don't think any of you went inside the kitchen besides Jinx. Yeah. Um, the only rooms you guys haven't been in are the cellar and um, Ali Rose's bedroom and the, the master bedroom. Was there still a door in the kitchen? It's the water yeah. beyond the like intricate doors. That's like the ballroom that you guys are in right oh, now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I oh, forgot about that. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. never mind. Then uh, yeah. let's uh, split up. One yeah. of us will go to Elio. Uh, some of us will go to Elio Rose's room, um, and the others will go to the parents' room. It was you who did. You and you who did the perception check on the rooms and gathered that it was in the shape of a moral wreath, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Can you guys both make a perception check for me, please? Perception. Hell yeah. Good check. Perception check. Oh, Hell yeah. I run 19. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor. Yeah. You see on Philippe's lapel a brooch in the shape of a laurel. Hmm. Hmm. The plague. <laughs> it's all related. Um. Okay. All right. Do you convey that? No. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'm part right. of this teamwork. All right. But the, what are you guys going to do? Sleight of hand. Don't steal. This is a broken hand. <laughs> Not cool, bro. Okay. Everybody make an intelligence check, please. Fuck. <laughs> Why? Ooh. Why? Okay, sorry. Literally just the doc you make an intelligence check. Too late, I've already 19. Old, asshole. Okay. Doesn't matter. You gather that seeing this laurel crest 19. everywhere in this house, that is probably the family crest. Mm. And Good, because I got a nat one. <laughs> seeing the laurel, in the, seeing the runes in the shape of a laurel, in the shape of the family crest. <laughs> okay, this picture, we're something. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will, I will tell everyone this with me. Okay. I think it's a family crush. Okay. Are you um, suggesting that one of the family members cast this spell? Is that what you're saying? It's a possibility. I'm not sure. This house, once again, I. It is full of lies <laughs> and <laughs> deceits. I, uh, I, I leave briskly. I'll, I'll walk up to that little conversation and be like, Oh, that, that little is pretty cool, but you know, you know what would be really cool? You know, kind of nudge the doctor, be like, a little something, something to pet me up. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what are you, what are you feeling? My yeah. heart murmur. <laughs> you know, all, all this strenuous activity has got me stressed. Mid sentence, because your blood pressure is a little weird and your heart's beating a little fast from climbing up those chains and taking them out of the wall. For the third time, it feel like something just passed through your heart inside your bloodstream, <laughs> and it stops and lodges, and then keeps going through your bloodstream. I think you might have two more left in you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you have in that syringe? <laughs> Tony, it was fucking dark. Oh. Um, I, I leave the whole room. I've yeah. grown impatient and tired of these lies and All lack right. of information, and I'm going to make my way up to the parents' bedroom. I go with sorrow because I'm also impatient as fuck. And... Damn it, Sean, and as long as you aren't stealing anything else. <laughs> we'll see where, where it goes. I'll ask Philippe if he has a medicine cap cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need some Tylenol stuff. If you go, if you go <laughs> find Reginald, you'll find that he's quite capable in the ex- in the art of healing. Yeah. <laughs> Is that yours? It's a There's no one more in there. Upstairs, maybe? Oh, there is no one more upstairs, yeah. Do you want to go get it for me, bud? What? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, if you go find Reginald, he'll be able to direct you. I'll make my way to him. Yeah. It's just a small cabin in the kitchen where Reginald's cleaning up after dinner. Um, as you approach and ask him for some medicine, he's like, uh, what seems to be the problem? My heart's funny. <laughs> My heart's funny. Like, what kind of funny? It's, tell me what you got. 
Hier oben ist mehr das mehr ist ein Chest. Das ist ein Chest. Oh, ich weiß, jetzt sag ich auch. It's a first aid kit, basically. I know, I'm sorry, I just, I don't know why. Chest. Is that what all you see is just like a fuck ton of drugs? <laughs> and like some basic bandages and uh, first aid kits. My eyes glisten with just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy at seeing this. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I'll have no more need of you. <laughs> he looks a little alarmed and slightly offended, but respects your wishes. He says, all right, be okay. safe. And continues cleaning the kitchen. Cheers, mate. There's one left. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Did you take the drugs? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, would you get drugs? <laughs> He's cheating on you, Tommy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's not faithful. Dude, I found a new new supplier. <laughs> Look, man. Okay. Just gets my Bud Light apple. Roll a con check for me, please. That is a twenty-two. Nice. You now have advantage on all strength checks. For the next void <laughs> hours, I'm say. I'm feeling pretty pepped up, so <laughs> However, it's increased your blood flow, so maybe there's some negative side effects to this. That's legit just steroids. <laughs> also, <laughs> whatever drugs I didn't take, I'm taking the rest from the chest. <laughs> okay. Reginald doesn't notice. Because he's very focused on painting yeah. after dinner. So I have a lot of drugs in my pouch now. <laughs> All right. Okay, what are the rest of you guys doing? Do you right. go find your way back with the rest Yeah, of the I'll find the rest of the okay. uh, party. I ran to the parents' bedroom. All right. Yeah, I'd be going then. there to you. Yeah. I guess we all just ran. There. If you want to run, you can walk. No yeah, I, I'd run. be walking. Lost sprint. All right. <laughs> I'm in <laughs> haste. Luth joins you and you notice his eyes are a little bloodshot. His face is a little... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you're looking a little, a little rough there, Luth. Luth is a what? No, I'm fucking feeling fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> you're, not, you're not looking so swell. No, looking too small. I, uh, I'm thinking that might be the. It looks like you might be starting to get affected by uh, the plague. <laughs> Dude, I'm feeling the best I've ever been. <laughs> you don't look it. Look, sorry to everything. <laughs> it's like a horror movie. You're literally about to die. You're down to a character. You're down to a character. Fuck you, Do you, uh, want me to help you out there or, uh,. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I'm good for now. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I, bet, I hope it's not the plague. <laughs> Can you describe the parents' room? <laughs> I just guys all go into the parents' bedroom. Yeah. It so was uh, unlocked. Um, nice. I sleuth. Okay. <laughs> First off, you notice basic bedroom furniture. Like, there's a... Oh, wait, I don't know. No, almost well, the bed. <laughs> basic bedroom furniture, Dustin. <laughs> there's, basic. there's a large ornate four poster bed, um, feather pillows, down sheets, that, down covers, that kind of thing. Fuck, okay, um, go for the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Curtains that could close and give us a privacy, you know, that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so no one can see them on their sex. <laughs> <laughs> there's also. <laughs> You know the rich with the app curtains that can close? <laughs> Dude, who puts a sex swing on their bed? <laughs> no, I the subs. No, at the foot of the bed. Maybe it's comfy to sleep in. It's like a hammock. Maybe it's comfy to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> sex swing is okay. canon now. Stop. It's not canon. Wait, that's chocolate. It's not canon. Sex and sex swings? <laughs> yes. Chocolate? No. <laughs> anyway. There's, similar to the ballroom downstairs, the, the wall leading out, like, to the outside of the house is mainly windows, and there's a door that is, again, mostly glass, leading out onto a balcony that you can go stand out on and kind of overlook the scenery. I'm going to get some fresh air. 
<laughs> um, there's also there's also a vanity table with various kind of makeups and perfumes on it that you assume would belong to the Eldrick, uh, the Eldrick family's mother, who I didn't name. Um, she doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> as, as, as the resident female, I go over to the vanity. <laughs> I keep forgetting you're a girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's sexist. <laughs> Alright, yeah. There's a bunch of makeup, there's some perfume, there's a very fine silver tooth, uh, a silver fine tooth comb. I use it? <laughs> Alright, while well, Charlotte is brushing her hair, <laughs> combing her hair. <laughs> you're on the balcony One getting the fresh air. <laughs> yeah, Luther's getting some fresh air. Charlotte's combing her hair. What are the other three? Uh, can, I, can I roll to see a like, uh, medicine check to see like how fucked up he is? Yeah, can I as well? <laughs> <laughs> yes. With advantage, since I'm an actor and know some of this stuff. And also, <sighs> yes, you have experience you. in the knowledge of in the in the area of Big medical. Thank you. Okay. Um, can I also have advantage? Yes, oh, you have advantage nice. because you're a doctor. <laughs> yes. That's a 19. Oh, oh my 19. god. So that is a uh, 23. I no. care not for this man's well-being. I'm going to just leave the room. 16. All right, doctor. You think he's a little hopped up on something, but that he's fine. You know that if he'd taken any more. He probably would have overdosed and passed out on this spot. But as it is, he's okay. Do I know like what he's feeling or anything like that? Just based on the fact. <laughs> yeah, you see that he's feeling pretty high on life right now. He's but not like I've been like a or anything. Yeah, okay. no hallucinations. Okay. Okay. Great because he's masquerading as an old man. <laughs> <laughs> he's so many parts. <laughs> I love you. Uh, Yes, may I please? Yes. Is the room? What are you investigating? Uh, is, uh, uh, the bed, uh, and, uh, uh, just for, like, uh, I'm uh, uh, bad at gang. Um, I mean, like, are you anything doing a magic that check? Might... What? Are you, like, are you checking for magic? No. I'm looking for, like, any signs of, like, a struggle, uh, anything, like, that's out of place, mm-hmm. like uh, may- maybe some, like, you know what, I will look for anything that's like a magical thing. Yeah. I'm casting Death Ward on this motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does Death Ward do? Uh, basically, if you, if you like hit zero hit points from like being hit, you go to one. Okay. Dude, that's not cool because I was going to try and feed him some drugs. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you knew I would have taken them. <laughs> I know, that's why it was going to be great. Uh, yeah, uh, looking for anything that could be of use. Like, okay. out, out of place, intriguing, okay. magical... Roll an investigation check. Or a perception check, whichever is higher. I'm trying to think if I want to take... Yeah, I'm going to use my 10. But I've saved it from poor 10, so 20. 30, 20. 30, 20. You don't really notice anything magical. Um, doesn't seem like they, you know, they didn't keep anything of any magical value inside this bedroom that you could see. Uh, As you are searching the bed, though, you notice... (laughs) Are you you still with us, Tony? Yeah. Okay. Uh, So you find a secret compartment. You find a false board underneath the bed. Uh, I'd look to see if anyone else has noticed. Because I like that I finally have been the one to do the actual sleuthing, and it feels good. Um, <laughs> I will open up the false floorboard, please. Okay. Inside of the false so floorboard, Jeopardy thing. you find a pouch. And inside the pouch, you find 500 platinum pieces. I put that back, and I leave, and I just leave it there. <laughs> okay, make a perception check for me, please. Uh, 16. You notice that as you're grabbing the pouch. The no, I, I didn't take the pouch. I left it there. You just have it like p- opened up to your... Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, it's cool, it's cool. As you grab the pouch and put it back, that the the base of the secret compartment kind of wobbles a bit, and that it might also be a false bottom. A 
False bottom. Oh, false bottom. 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 False the platinum pieces back. Yes. And you cover them up again. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a thief. All right. I'm a thief. <laughs> <laughs> you heard nothing? <laughs> now you have a notebook. I exit. And I On the cover of the notebook is a laurel wreath. Oh. Uh, uh, I crawl out from under the bed and I say, I found this notebook um, in a... Under the bed. <laughs> found it under the bed. That might not be best to look at. There are often secrets people don't want to, don't want people to know about. Um, my good friend, <laughs> please, I said please don't look secret. under my bed. My, my, my actor friend. Uh, I'm an investigator. I'm quite literally paid to look at things that people don't want me to see. Uh, and I probably open up the notebook and <laughs> reading it. Philippe looks like he's about to say something, but then stops. Thank you for that. Oh, this fucker's still here, right? Yeah, he, he's just been following you guys. <laughs> I'm watching my hand <laughs> trail through the sky. <laughs> Whoa, man, these stars are so silly. I'll cast Dancing Lights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting on lipstick. <laughs> Make an intelligence saving throw. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I am fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you do not realize that these lights are magically created. You think that they are, in fact, coming down from the sky towards you. <laughs> I, I cast thaumaturgy. I grab them. I cast thaumaturgy to make uh, the balcony shake a bit. <laughs> Dude, you're looking at the journal. You don't know what the fuck's going this on. This is a bit that I'm going. I want to be a part of it. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Doesn't matter. I examine the notebook. Here's it's the notebook. more, it's right. more pressing. You right. open it up, and you can gather that this belongs to Sylvester, the uh, the head of the household, mm-hmm. Philippe's father, and Eliora's father. <coughs> uh, the notebook details treatments for various diseases and records of the family funds. It, it, it seems that from this you can gather that the majority of the, the family's fortune came from Sylvester's fairly ample healing abilities. Mm-hmm. And um, from this you can gather that Sylvester was a cleric and also an artificer. Okay. You can... you As you read along, you realize that some of the things he's doing is absolutely beyond mortal means. So that He's he was a powerful enough cleric to call upon his deity to aid him in his healing rituals. Jesus fuck! Um, so this guy, I'm assuming, is the reason all of this has happened because one of his experiments went horribly wrong. There is no mention of who his deity actually is. Probably something fucked up. Only the recurring symbol of the Laurel Crown Direwolf. Can I do a history check to see that uh, pertains to any sort of deity? History or religion? Do I guess. I guess it would be religion. Do a religion check. Uh, what is that? Five or fifteen? <laughs> I can't see it. it. Same thing just happened. Take one of your other rolls. What? I said, take one of your other rolls. That not twenty. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make a joke. But yes. <laughs> Dude, you got a name drop. Name drop. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing subscribers. The more we repeat this, okay, whatever. You can't lose any more than zero. <laughs> hey, we've we've got 21 <laughs> subscribers. We do? Yeah. Oh, good job, guys. High five. Shout out. To you, 21 nice. subscribers. My 20 alt accounts are doing good. <laughs> Honestly, like, <laughs> ten of them are us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, have you subscribed yet? Do it. The fuck, man? You're on the show. I refuse to be <laughs> You're not subscribe. releasing this until you subscribe. <laughs> um, yes, natural 20, bitch. You recall that this symbol is associated with a uh, lawful good deity? Oh, spicy. 
don't know its name. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> but you it's do the know... cave from <laughs> all over again. <laughs> you do know that it's a deity, it's lawful good, and the kind of enclosure that Eliora is in was also lawful good. Was a lawful good cage. <clears throat> She's still in that cage, though, She's right? still enclosed, yeah. Okay, and I don't know anything about this DV except that it's lawful good. Yeah, it's... it's Mentions of it are pretty sparse. Um, most people wouldn't have any idea of what it was. Okay. It's only because you're a wizard and your background that you actually have any inkling and have actually seen this symbol before. I get bored of doing makeup. <laughs> hey guys, should we go check out the last room that we haven't seen? Um, her room? The sister's room? Absolutely. There's nothing in the notebook that pertains about where he might have been conducting his research, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll keep the notebook on me, though. Okay, I notice that these guys leave. <laughs> I'll be the last one to leave the room, just because I know that there's something pretty expensive under that bed, and I want to make sure no one else climbs under there. <laughs> Make a perception check, please, with disadvantage, because you're distracted by the dancing lights. <laughs> I got a 21 and a 7. <laughs> oh, you do not notice. And you are just enthralled by these lights. Would I, have would I, I not notice waiting for him to leave? You would. Do you do anything about it? Yes. I'm high as a kite, just fucking... I go in to the balcony and I push him off the... No, I, I go out to the balcony and I'm like, come here, Luth, and I put her arm around her shoulders and I'm like, come here, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the other room now, okay? Would you know where my shoulders were? I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> you, you, you go to grab his shoulders and your hands sink halfway through his body, or partially through his body, until you grasp his real, very solid, swollen, no, muscular he... shoulders. His arm would stop before you actually reach my actual body because I'm thinner what I, than what I yeah. perceive. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm freaked out, but I'm also like I understand why. Um, <laughs> come with us. We're gonna go to the other room now, okay? Dope. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. <laughs> and I start to guide our 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 uh, inebriated friend out of the room and down the hall. Yeah. And I, I as we're walking, I turn to Felipe and I say, "Don't worry, I left the money." And then yeah. Felipe was like, more money? <laughs> oh, Felipe, there's 500 platinum pieces under your father's bed. Oh, okay. Duly noted. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very... Did you take anything? No, I... I was there take... anything else in there? Well, just his notebook that I've been reading. Okay, that's fine. There was actually 600 platinum pieces. <laughs> you were too high. Uh, I throw them off the nose. <laughs> okay. All right, so you guys go to There Eliora. can be no witnesses. You guys go to Eliora's room, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Eliora's room is actually boarded up. Reginald nailed a bunch of boards over the top of it. Reginald? <laughs> Why would you do this? We don't need him. You fuck, Reginald. It's just some simple little planks with nails. As I push button five. <laughs> and you see my mace turn into a batting ram. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, you drunk, up. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and, I'll <laughs> and I'll hit the door. <laughs> with just no problem at all. These thin planks shatter into splinters. The door busts open, and you guys all stumble into Eliora's bedroom. Thank you, Luth. That was unnecessary, but very fun. I've been waiting for a chance to use that. (laughs) I adjust my robe, the Arch Magi. That's right, I have the robe. (laughs) (laughs) This item is not very flashy. I uh, wanted to make sure everyone knew that I had it. Uh, all right. <laughs> what do we see? This room has been trashed. It was like this when I got here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The window has been completely destroyed, shattered, and some of the wall surrounding the window has also been taken away. Like something enormous just burst through it and took part of the wall with it. This does not seem like it was natural. Thank you for your input. <laughs> <laughs> the furniture in the bedroom has been just 
hastily shove to the walls to clear an open space in the middle of the room. And in that open space is a whole bunch of runes and what appears to be a summoning circle that has clearly been used. Reginald! <laughs> <laughs> I descend the stairs to find Reginald. Oh, Reginald, I have many questions for you, my friend. On my way to the to the open window, what, hole in the wall, I guess it is, yeah. I'm just going to walk straight through the circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing actually happens. Oh. You're fine. I look at the circle and I go, Oh, shit. Something went down. <laughs> uh, is she possessed? The power of Christ <laughs> <laughs> uh, No, I'm going to find Reginald. Reginald! <laughs> Reginald! At your calls, Reginald begrudgingly puts down the pot he was scrubbing and walks upstairs towards you guys. Alright, uh, I turn over and I'll just, just, just wait a moment. Uh, Reggie and I have to have a little private <laughs> conversation. <laughs> and I, I put an arm around Reginald. I'm super relaxed, I'm calm. I'm like, no, come here, I have a question for you. Uh, and as soon as we round the corner, I'm going to slam him against the wall. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll be like, Reginald, my man, Felipe told us he woke up and his sister was already in the bubble. But we broke into her room. We found a rune, runic circle that was obviously used for some sort of summoning. And he told, and we know that Reg, you, Reginald, have boarded up the room, which tells me you knew exactly what was going on in said room, which means you know more than you're letting on. I think you were jumping to under the uh, No, 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 I'm quite good at this investigation <laughs> thing you see, Reginald, and I know that you're lying to me. <laughs> no, really, you must believe me. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm safe. That was the worst <laughs> lying voice I have ever heard. I'm really drunk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 but, Reginald, you shouldn't be drinking on the job. <laughs> <That's just laughs> I don't... <laughs> I was. That's a woman's voice. <laughs> I'm feeling alright. <laughs> you need some water? Or? I was away on business. Doing some shopping in the local. in, in Fotley. the night that this all happened. When I came back. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm literally just looking at you. When I came back, all I knew was that. <laughs> Sylvester. And his wife had disappeared. Eliora was chained up in the ballroom like that. And Felipe had locked himself away in his bedroom. Then why on earth would you lock up Eliora's bedroom? There's no threat in there. Why would you lock it up? It was a draft. (laughs) (laughs) There was a huge hole in the wall. And I didn't... Reggie. (laughs) Reggie, you're clearly lying to me. A draft. Close the fucking door, Reggie. <laughs> There's a gap. <laughs> There's a gap between the door and the floor. Reg, stop lying to me. I'm not lying. Can I see if he's lying? Do an inside check. Can I have advantage? Yes, you can have advantage. Okay. Because you know that this guy is full of shit. I rolled eight. 18 plus 321. He's being 100% sincere. Oh, okay. <laughs> this guy was in fact away the night that this all went down. He came back, he saw that Eliora's room was defiled and there was this huge hole in the wall and he was a little freaked out seeing that she was thus chained up in the ballroom. So... And yes, there was a draft coming in from the giant hole in the wall underneath the door. So he boarded up the door, didn't board up the window because he was a little afraid to go into the bedroom and just went about his business as usual because he's a butler and he's extremely good at his job. Ah, uh, all right, fine, 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 fine. I, I pull up, uh, no, I don't pull it up. I say, uh, how close are you and, uh, <laughs> you said pull it out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I pull out, uh, no, I fuck. Uh, I ask him, how close were you and uh, uh, Sylvester? I've known him since he was a boy. I pull out the notebook. So you know what this is then? I've never seen it. Never seen it. <laughs> do, you, do you know about his experiments? I know he was a healer. Apparently he was also a demon summoning... <laughs> cleric-worshipping psychopath that uh, 
clearly did something to Eliora and his own son. That doesn't sound like Sylvester. He was always very protective of his family, and he would never do anything to put them in harm's way. You haven't told us about any of that stuff, right? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I, I, I asked Reggie, I say, Reg, I asked Reginald, I'm like, Reginald, um, do you know where uh, Sylvester did most of his work in the house? He had a study in the cellar. Not no, it's a study. It's upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Why would it be in the cellar? You never mentioned the study when you were describing the house, Duncan. Yeah. All right, I would have gone to the study. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the cellar. Cellar also doesn't matter. I don't fucking I don't trust know. you, Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> cellar matters to me. You guys can go check out the cellar if you want. I don't fucking trust you, Reggie. Um, <laughs> He's telling the truth. I know, I still don't trust him. Uh, Actually, I'm the only one that knows that there's a cellar. Yeah, that's true. Nobody yeah. else knows there's a cellar. Is there anywhere in the house that we haven't searched yet? Aside from Elio's bedroom? Or, well, they're searching it right now. <laughs> um, like, like, maybe a cellar. Do you have a, a basement, perhaps? <laughs> there's a cellar. <laughs> Where is it? In the kitchen? Like, most <laughs> cellars? Are most cellars in the kitchen? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's like a basement door. It has like a creepy wooden stairs with the one light fixture that swings <laughs> and slowly and flickers in light. Yeah, and you can also hear downstairs gentle, like uh, either creaking or groaning. Uh, during the end <laughs> movie, uh, it floods and there's a little boy who says, We all float down here! Yeah. Spoilers! Oh, fuck <laughs> off. It's like a 40 year old book. There are no lights in this universe. That's true. Like, like right. So there, they just have a Burning calendars. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, uh, but the, yeah, uh, I will let go of Reggie, but I'll give him like a, I know what you're doing, look. And then uh, I'll go upstairs and I'll be like, uh, all right, gents, uh, I'm going to make a quick uh, pit stop in the kitchen. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run downstairs to the kitchen. I'm going to go down to the cellar. The cellar. Cool. You go down to the, to the kitchen, you can see the cellar clearly. It's not hidden or anything. It's just a wooden trap door that goes downstairs. I go downstairs. You go down into it. It's a cellar. There's a flickering calendar on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's like sacks of potatoes, some jars of pickled vegetables. I sleep for two. Roll investigation, please. What is that? It's 15. 15? 25. Behind one of the barrels. You find five hundred platinum pieces, <laughs> a can of pickled herring. Oh, which you've heard is a quite a delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> this house is weird. There's <laughs> nothing of importance in this. I part. take it out from behind and I put it on is top. Is the of jar it. red? It is red. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. What is it? The red herring. Because the red herring is something that takes you away from the oh, okay, main okay, quest okay, or main okay, topic. Okay, okay, and like, okay, okay, it's okay, called I a red herring. To- <laughs> He's saying that the cellar is pointless. <laughs> right. I leave the cellar satisfied. And I make my way back up, which I'm sure you guys have explored. So. Have you walked around outside? No. But I mean, you guys are upstairs, right? So you Since can I'm in the window, I'm going to like search the window for anything... Like any fabrics or anything that is attached to the window as it like burst through. Make a investigation check with advantage, please. Oh, that's a good roll. Good advantage. Nice. Eighteen. You know, because of your experience with demons, that whatever was summoned here was demonic in nature, and that whatever made this hole in the wall was demonic in nature. Okay. <clears throat> Can I do a backflip out of the hole in the wall? <laughs> you may. How it much? is 20 <laughs> feet up. Make a athletics check for me, please. It seems like there's that's a deal. Acrobatics. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. It acrobatics. seems like there's a deal with demons okay. here. Oh, that's a nat 20 oh, with... Name drop. Ah! Name drop. <laughs> name drop. <laughs> plus 15. <laughs> yeah, that would be 35. Oh, my God. Well, nat 20 is success no matter what your modifier is. But that's bullshit. <laughs> and, um, just take the learning, don't take any damage. I have not failed a roll yet. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Um, no, my, uh, he still got that shit. Oh, right. oh, oh you yeah, still yeah, made yeah, the yeah. fucking, st- whatever. Yeah. It's a pretty high roll. Yeah. This is because it was literally impossible to do. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, now you're outside. <laughs> <laughs> I look for any obvious signs of Obviously ground disturbance. There is none. Okay. You do see shards of broken glass and stone from where it fell from the window, but whatever busted out of the window did not hit the ground. Yeah. So, seeing Shard's performance of oh, no. athleticism, <laughs> no, I'm going to try and copy it. No. <laughs> I knew. Uh, <laughs> so, you wanted an athletics, right? Mm -hmm. That's a 17. Oh, wow. You should... Oh, wow. Yeah. You... <laughs> I have good athletics. How did you do it? Oh, it's acrobatics. You did not athletics. Well, either way is fine. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Taking athletics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame Um that. Well, I'm kind of like standing in the window as she backflips out of the fucking window. So seeing that, I'm just kind of like, that's cool. And I'll do kind of like a swan dive <laughs> into like a three-point uh, landing. It's only 20 feet. <laughs> okay, actually, you do have advantage on this because you're so drugged up. And I did see you advantage on all strength checks. Oh, actually, yeah. Nah. Okay. <laughs> You stick the landing, no problem. You don't take any fall damage, and it looked pretty damn fly when you did it. <clears throat> <laughs> now you're also outside. When I walked into the room, did I see him jump out the window? Or have I yeah. gone too, for too long? Um, you're pretty quick. I I don't think you would have been there though. Okay, that's fine. Where the what the? I did like a dive into the too. There, I went like this and just. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. All right, all right. I'm tired of asking questions <laughs> about these two. Uh... <laughs> Did you guys find anything? Uh, I'm not really. You guys didn't uh, investigate the room at all. You just looked at it. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, try your own investigation check. Yes. It's a good roll. <laughs> How does seven sound? <laughs> <laughs> Something was summoned. You don't know what it was. That charming smile Gage just gave you, though, was at least one of three. Make it a ten. Make Something a ten. was summoned. You don't know what it was. <laughs> I tried. I'm screaming demons from outside <laughs> as I'm <laughs> running back to the door. Doctor. Mr. Sleuth? Doctor? Mr. Sleuth? <laughs> yeah. No, not you, him. Ah. Either of you, you guys gonna check out the room at all? Well, I, I don't want to be a part of this because it was their thing I left. Yeah, so. okay. Alright, Doctor, you do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna follow a sir. <laughs> he just went to the <laughs> south. <laughs> yeah, I'm on yeah. my way back. What the f. <laughs> I think he's gonna all right. be a I will investigate, investigate the room when I come back. Okay, roll investigation for me, please. 17. You gather that. This is Eliora's bedroom. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> I'm not done. Okay. I was gonna say, like, come on, man. Let's just humiliate him. <laughs> Whatever was summoned here was probably her that did it. Oh. And it was demonic in nature. Probably not a good alignment. Can I read the runes? Are they the same as the ones in the moment? They are not the same. I see what happened here. I put the pieces together, my friends. Uh, and I pull out a pipe. Uh, <laughs> and I start smoking it. Where, where's Charlotte and, and Luke? Where did they go? They uh, jumped out the window to investigate. I hear you and wave outside. Up you. I look out and I'm like, oh, yes, hello. Uh, come closer. You might be able to hear. Uh, I'm screaming demons as, I'm, as, I, as I, I'm running back towards the. the I tilt main my door. ear upwards and can kind of hear. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've deduced <laughs> that uh, the daughter Eliora was uh, jealous of her father's um, activities, you know, world renowned healer, uh, great, uh, obviously good at summoning. So she attempted to copy his actions to summon a, a, a creature. It backfired. She summoned uh, something of demonic nature that affected both her and her brother, and her father saved her life by putting her in this bubble. Uh, but the demon then took uh, the lives of her parents. Yep. You know, this seems like a play that I was a part of about five years ago named A Deal with Demons, where th almost the exact same thing happened. Like, the wife had summoned a demon, and then similar stuff to this actually happened. Except it it was... They didn't turn... Like, the uh, 
the youngest and turned into a vampire. He, he just turned into a werewolf instead, but was similar in that way. But yeah, it, it's kind of similar. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, uh, we best... Uh, <coughs> God damn it. All right. Um, fuck me. <laughs> I will try to deduce what the room is. Okay, you can't actually read the runes. They're Fuck. demonic in nature. Uh, can I use um, a special ability that I have as a divination wizard? What's well, your special ability? Which is greater comprehension. I can read any language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Is that like an ability or? Something? I only get to use it once. Uh, it was that or see invisibility, ethereal sight, or dark vision, and this seems important. So. Okay. Come by, yeah. Oh no, you're camping. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay. Um. <laughs> They're just pretty stock summoning rooms. This is your one time spell. No, stock <laughs> summoning rooms. My one thing to gather is that a lot of research was put into this. Um, it's not vanilla. It's not stock. A lot of research. And that this summoning spell, the summoning circle, was used to summon like one of the most powerful types of demon that exists in the Nine Hells. You're not sure which one doesn't explicitly say, but, um, yeah, based, based off that, and there was some shit went crash down. through. I've, I have thought of another uh, possibility as well. Um, uh, see how there's an exit, uh, uh, an exit orifice through the wall. I don't an know why I'm so British and everything, but, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like, um, <laughs> yeah, I spoke for fun. Uh, I believe that uh, those wolves that attacked the sheep early uh, were under the influence of the demon. I believe uh, if we were to find his parents or any sort of demon clue, we must find the wolves mm. that attacked We also believe that the demon is vampiric in nature. <coughs> oh, Philippe! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it appears your lovely old sister is the color of your vampirism. Uh, you don't remember anything you said, right? Yeah, perhaps uh, this vampiric beast ch- churned you after being summoned. And that would explain your current vampiric state. That would make sense. I, but I don't remember anything, so I can't confirm or deny your account. When I look around outside, is there any other buildings on the property? You can't see any building, as far as I can see. Okay. I mean, you can see, if you're on the other side of the mountain, you can see Folly, the village that you guys started in, but... Other than that, how dark is it outside? It is pitch black outside. You think it's a I don't have dark vision, I look, so I look at my like pocket I also watch. Have dark vision, but... I look at my pocket watch, and it is the darkest part of the night. It is the <laughs> darkest part of the night. Um, do we have any idea where we can find said wolves for their layer? It's pointless again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we must find some. I will jump out the window. <laughs> 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 and that's where we're gonna leave this episode. Of <laughs> what? <laughs> Tune in next time, folks. <laughs>